Hello, welcome to my channel. Um, welcome to a COVID hairstyle, which looks better if I put my hand on it. <laughs> not been cut for a while, not been home for my mic Tina to do my roots. Oh look, but just uh, I can't I can't sit here with my hand on my head. So um, some of you might know that I've had problems with my fridge over the last months or so. Every time I've managed to rescue it, every time it's not had any effect on my load or anything, but there is going to come a time when it's probably just going to say no. So I have a plan, I have a plan. Um, this load I've got on is a load of uh, watermelons to go to Bradford Market. Um, I'm going to take that up, that's for, um, the whole load is for one delivery in there. Um, for Northern Fruit Brokers, who is a regular customer, our friend Ramon. So I'll take that up for him and drop it in the market. And then I'm going from over there, from Bradford over to um, Armstrong's at Carlisle in Cumbria, so that they can, they are a carrier agent and they've got a, a which is the make of my fridge. Um, they, they're they gonna have a good look at it and, and fix it because my tachygraph is due a two, two yearly inspection um, in, and it's a good excuse if I drop it there it's, I need to go over to um, Northern Ireland the north of Ireland depending on on, on your point of view um, to uh, get everything done um, MOT was due this month but because of the COVID that's been put off, but I need to kind of check that, make sure that's okay. And that, and it's a good excuse for me to go over and see uh, Mr. Doherty. Um, and I like Northern Ireland, the North of Ireland, whatever, <laughs> I love the place. So um, one of the few places in the world that I would move to. Uh, Tachygraph has to be done every two years and then it gets a, a bigger check on the six years. So it goes, uh, two years, two years, six years inspections. Um, it gets uh, checked to make sure that it's telling the Transport Ministry um, DVSA, Driver Vehicle Standards in Agency in the UK, um, what we're doing, and um, anybody else that wants to press the button and give a printout. And it makes sure everything's running like it should make sure I keep to my hours. It's the old fashioned, for those that are in Australia, it's the old fashioned logbook. They are digital in the UK now. There is some card ones, like the round pack of discs left, which um, it's, it, they are going out. But um, the new ones, um, mine's not a brand new one, but um, they're easy to, they're easy to keep a check of, let me put it that way. You have to, there's many rules and regulations around them, um, and there's many DVSA um, person that tries to catch you out. And but the rules and regulations are so immense when it comes to tachygraphs that they real if they want to find something they will because it's it's so difficult and things change all the time. And with the COVID, things have been changed, but they've been changed in one country and not in the next. And then if you like us that go from country to country you're trying to match things up and you're trying to get things right I've tried to keep to the set hours that we normally run by because it's so difficult to go into a different country and explain what you've done and that it is loud in that country because it's not been a Europe wide uh, change each country has had their own change and their own differences so it's just for the people like me it's just made it really confusing it's it's supposed to help us but it it it, it has but the fact that it's not been done in the same in every country that we go through it that's what makes it difficult and trying to explain that when you're not fluent in um the language that does make it difficult and you can you do risk getting stopped and fined which is an on-the-spot fine in when it's not your own country it's an honor spot fine or they won't release you and then you have to argue about it later but you know you could it, it, it can add up to telephone numbers if you're not careful and 
what I've done is try to keep to the rules. I think once I've run on a different I was with Spanish rules, but it's it's they're kept for you have twenty eight days to that um you have to provide at the side of the road and anything in that twenty eight days any um officer can do you for. So travelling between countries makes it very difficult to explain the differences and the way it goes. So everything's kept on the head on the digital ones. It, it, even if you download it, it's still on there for, I think it's three years or something like that. You have to keep records at home. I have to download it and, and analyse it and make sure you do it. And tell you, I have to tell myself off if I've done the wrong thing. So, But um, the rules and regulations around tachographs are so confusing that the more they try to simplify it, the more confusing it gets because it doesn't cater for all scenarios and they are not law they are rules and regulations so rules and regulations are down to interpretation so um oh sorry that's the fridge gone off um so i may read something and have one interpretation of it and the person might, that sat next to me might have a different interpretation of it which actually comes down to the um, inspector that is going through um, through everything there is and and like I said if they want to catch you they will find you on something if there is and so all you can do is do your best try and ex if you make a mistake try and explain things but you know every, everybody thinks that it's a it's an easy they didn't start they didn't everybody thinks that it's an easy way to control things but they didn't start at 11 play on field because um there were certain rules and regulations in place before there were log books and everything before the normal tachographs came in and then um they've tried to as we joined the eu years ago and now we're coming out of the eu it's getting all confused and so there are uh, officially UK rules, Great Britain rules, and there are European Union rules, and we some that we can work on there, and some we can work on here, and so it just gets very confusing as to what you're supposed to be doing. So you kind of stick to the basics, and um, like I said, if you make a mistake, write it down, keep it in a diary, do a printout, or um, obviously make a note in your logbook and do your best but um, it's the only occupation, only professional occupation that you can lose money and you can get a fine for working overtime. You know, if I worked anywhere else, if I was a nurse and I had people's lives in my hands, if I wanted to work the overtime I could do it and junior doctors they work a million hours a week and yet they don't get fined so um, we live with it so sorry about the fridge I'll make a move and I'll talk to you soon so as I said at the beginning in the intro I've had trouble with this fridge it keeps throwing water out the bottom the filler is right at the very top so I've called into my pals at Raffi and Havit to have a quick check. They've got a ladder. They check the oil as well. But they said the water looks like chocolate. So we're thinking coal plugs and or um, head gasket. So yay, Bradford Market. And look who I bumped into. This is uh, one of my oldest friends, Wayne Mayo. He works for Spies and Hartwell where I worked for 15 years. Strange the people you meet in the middle of the night. So I've dropped the trailer in at um, Carrier Cumbria, which is part of William Armstrong's. And now we're going to make our way up to the boat. And uh, welcome to Dumfries and Galloway, which is if you watch the Hoof GP on YouTube, which I highly recommend because cow's feet aren't boring. This is where Graham Parker does all his filming and he's such a professional guy. Um, 
me and my son love him. So while we head up to the boat, I'll let you hear a bit of music. Slip the clutch in the bun nose truck, I'm heading for the boat. Well, I never say goodbye to the woman this time, but I left for a note. Well, I'm up three steps in heaven, well, on the high with a hell, and I know it'll be a while before I say goodbye, cause I know you're looking well. Hey! It was just my luck to be given the truck with a naked of a load, and vice versa, and a hammer, and adjustable spanner, and a roaring V8 stove. The attack of grab was turning black as I passed the London night With one eye on the road and the other on the phone Took a selfie passing by Calling chains and cranes and roads and lanes And slurrying money by the ton Blowing their horn loud Go through the towns and starting to run their run Hauling wood and grub on the stubble drive top As the road was rubbing the flaps Well, it was a good laugh to a brook a half shaft And busted the gearbox Fifty dumb plus and forty foot behind 24-7 on the overnight And baby, I'm coming back to you oh. Slip the clutch in the bottom No stop, I'm heading for the boat Well, I never say goodbye to the woman this time But I left for a note Well, I'm up three steps in heaven Well, on the high with the hell And I know it'll be a while before I say goodbye Cause I know you're looking well On the fifth wheel base and lights and pipes and lights Go on the Delphi in Dublin city like New York City at night Hauling for the council with airbikes bouncing the tipping ramps still up Had to tip the loan while still on the go cause I hadn't got time to stop Hauling mail and grain of boats and trains and island bikes and drink And driving like hell looks at a self propel and hoping she don't sink If your luck runs out come home on the bounce and get super hammered boots Buy a loaf and a beer coat and 20 laps for the roof. 50 dumb plus and 40 from behind, 24 7 on the 0 and 9. And baby, I'm coming back to you. Slip the clutch in the bun, no stop, I'm heading for the boat. Well, I never say goodbye to the woman this time, but I left for a note. Well, I'm up three steps in heaven, well, on the high with a hell. Down the M1 when the limber diffuse did melt When the woman rang and said sorry Tang But you know I met someone else With two chrome stacks rolled up the back On the bank flat out in top My only fear in a non steer Would it get her stopped at the dock? Roger honey got the hammer to the floor And if that's your 20 that's a big 10-4 But baby I'm still coming back to you oh. Slip the clutch in the button No stop I'm heading for the boat well, I never say goodbye to the woman this time, but I left for a note. Well, I'm up three steps in heaven. Well, on the high with the hell, and I know it'll be a while before I say goodbye, because I know you're looking well. Anybody that's travelled that road knows we have to have a bit of Marty Moe. Well, we're here. This is my pal's house. It's all safe and sound. And we just arranged to uh, get the tracker raft done tomorrow. Couldn't ask for a safer place. That's my view from my bedroom upstairs. Bestest place in the world. Morning. This is where we are today. McLean Trailers. They're doing the tracker graph for me. Checking underneath. It's actually a holiday on the 12th of July and a couple of days afterwards, which is today. And they've come in specially to do it. Ever you're in this area, really recommend them. And that's it done. There's our proof to the whole world to say that we're all sorted and all running legal. So that's our working holiday done for a day or two. All we need now is to go back over to Larne, um, get the ferry back and uh, over to pick our trailer up again. And off we go again. Rubber 
Pushing for the boat, Maggie on the box Wasp on the bridge, boats at the docks Queen Kang, she's on the rear Boy, she's some bit of gear Be parked up soon at Mars or Lim Reared on diesel and the country king Bang the horn and see me smallin' Truckin' lovin' girls are lovin' Lights and pipes and jewel rights Rebel poppin' through the night All in cows, sheep or donkeys Mountain Jew, beer or monkeys Can you have all the miracle daft Nipples reach on the old right shaft Fixed, but we've got electrical problem now. So uh, this little square thing that looks like a piece of Lego. We'll replace that. Hopefully everything's fine then. Yay! Well, that was my um, working few days in Northern Ireland. I would like to say anybody that's not been to the Isle of Ireland, it is a lovely, stunning place. I prefer the north. Um, and the north of Ireland often gets overlooked as a holiday destination. The fridge again. <laughs> you get used to it. Um, as a holiday destination or a walking holiday, a motorbike holiday, the scenery is absolutely stunning. In the summer, there's no nicer place to be. Okay, they don't have much summer because <laughs> they're quite far north, but it really is um, one of my favourite places in the world. The people. Could, you could not ask for more friendly people. Okay, they have a history, but doesn't everywhere. And big towns, big towns are the same no matter where in the universe you go. Big towns are, are always the same. But they're always happy to help, always happy to see a visitor and to help you along your way. So please don't overlook it. Don't overlook the north and the south. See it all, because they are two different countries and two very different outlooks in life so I hope you join me again and don't forget to give me a thumbs up <laughs> that's a thumbs up Jimmy and Denise don't forget me thumbs up and um, I hope you subscribe ring the little bell and then when I'm here again you'll be able to catch up with it I will put the music in the description box and everything that it is very much a tang fest I know <laughs> which which uh, it will mean more to those that do either than the rest of you. But um, yeah, uh, it, it's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure, Mr. Doherty. Thank you for your help.